This is the Conservatives are December 3rd, 2015. I want to concentrate on uh, here about the, the issue of gun control and the knee-jerk reaction from CNN, the president. Now, the, there's a great video of Hillary it, it, uh, you know, in, in her rant. She, she's, she's just the worst ranter that I've ever seen. That, that video of her on gun control should just be captured, along with her Benghazi testimony where she uh, why now? She she is just terrible at, at, uh, at visually, and this was terrible. She's ranting about gun control. It's just terrible. I want to talk about gun control for a second. I want to, and um, and first thing I want to say is that and I'm, I think in almost every incident of gun violence that that uh, mass shootings that we're talking about, um, there is not a single proposal that is being offered that would have stopped any of it. Everything, there's no, there were no illegal guns. Uh, and so, and, and, and the, the left knows this because what the left is interested in, and they need to be called on this, is they're interested in, in two things, stop all gun sales and confiscate all weapons. If they did that, well, I think it would affect mass shootings. I really do. Okay. So that's their solution. And, and we got to remember, that's the only thing that's going to affect mass shootings. Registering or uh, you know, more gun controls, that's, that's just not going to have any effect. These are legally bought guns. As long as you're legally going to sell them in some manner, no matter how tough you make it, then, then, this, is, then this is not going to solve any problem. Well, I want to talk about a couple of other things, though. This idea that's touted by some on the right that um, that uh, what we really need is a background check on the mental health of the person trying to buy the gun. And I just, I want you to go back. I, I don't have it in front of me, but uh, Governor Cuomo in New York, he gave a litany of, peop of people he considers to be uh, mentally disabled. And it's ridiculous. You're giving the government the power in order to restrict guns, to say, we get to decide who's mentally stable and who's not. And, and take the left. They think if you're a member of the Tea Party, you're mentally unstable. We get, the rhetoric is all over. So that path is a very, very dangerous path to go down. The second path that I, uh, uh, that I want to talk about is the uh, no-fly zone. It's, this, is, this is something... Even some Republicans are saying, well, that sounds okay. It's not okay. Again, you're, 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 what's going to happen here is they're going to say, well, if you're on the no-fly zone, then you can't buy a gun. And I'm telling you, that you're leaving it up to the federal government, the president, the executive, to make the decision of what the definition of a no-fly zone is and who goes on it. Same thing as mental health. They will abuse that system to restrict gun ownership by normal Americans. I guarantee you that. Again, people on the left feel that the Tea Party people are terrorists. We would the no-fly the, the restriction on gun purchase from the no-fly zone is it needs to be not be expanded. Don't fall for that trap. The worst thing of all coming out from the left on gun control now is this idea that the gun manufacturers should be legally responsible when people abuse the gun. Now, this is, and they're serious. Hillary Clinton is serious about this. This, this is horrible, absolutely horrible. If, if, if you think about it for a second, by 19, if this law was in effect, by 1930, 1920, the auto manufacturer in the United States would all have been shut down because they were causing more deaths than were done by guns by a long shot. And so if, if, the, if you think the theory, you're building a car that someone can kill other people with, then you're responsible for it. This path is something the legal system has avoided for years. And to open it up is one of the most dangerous things that can happen in this country. To say that the manufacturer of anything is responsible for the end user misusing that, 
that me misusing that product. That, that is a whole that all three of these things are holes. You, you, take, you take a look at it, uh, 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 the uh, background check for mental health is a hole that can, the federal government can put everybody in. The no-fly zone, same thing. You can expand, expand the definition of no-fly zone to include every American. And the same thing with the, the third thing. If you start uh, uh, making the manufacturers of products responsible for the misuse legally through, well, oh, because oh, their lawyer's going to make a ton of money on it, that's for sure. If you do that, then every manufacturer can be brought to the, to, 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 uh, can be brought down, can be just destroyed. These three things are ridiculous ideas. Now, I'm going to say this, uh, uh, that I'm, I am in favor. I'm not opposed to a reasonable constitutional amendment that we can propose in a compromised manner to put some controls on guns. My problem has always been that we have a constitution. Now, I, I, look, here, we, here we go. Because the truth of the matter is we don't have a constitution, isn't it? Because we don't, the constitution has been torn up a long time ago. But we do have a constitutional amendment. That's why I am opposed to gun control. I'm not. If you want, want to go through the amendment process to uh, make some changes, I am more than willing to enter the discussion of that. Uh, but uh, we have a constitutional barrier that is clear and precise and uh, without question. Uh, this is the conservative czar. See you next time.